Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome back to some more Seven Kingdoms Game of Thrones Total War. Now, we'll add in a little spoiler warning right here. If you have not seen the latest episode of Game of Thrones, that being Season 7, Episode 4, then I wouldn't watch this video as it might contain some spoilers of me just talking about it. So, yeah, just you've been warned. But yes, we are here. Fire and blood. Oh my god, that episode was absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, we cannot use a dragon. There's no dragons in Seven Kingdoms Total War. However, we do have a Dothraki horde ready to go up against a Lannister army along this road as they make their way back to King's Landing. However, I didn't want to make it as, you know, as small as the battle which took place in the TV show in Episode 4. I wanted the Lannisters to have a chance to win this, so I was being kind of careless with my cavalry a little bit. And I obviously wanted the Lannisters to have a ton more soldiers, as you guys can see right here. Their army is pretty vast, having lots of spearmen, and they also have three units of pikes as well, which I, you know, just mindlessly charge onto. It does look pretty epic. So again, this battle isn't very much about the uh, the strategy involved. It's more about just kind of, you know, somewhat recreating the battle we saw in episode four. It definitely does make me... Uh, definitely does make me look forward to the rest of the season as well so let's quickly run through just what people are bringing if you are new to this mod then you can see some of the units and then we'll jump straight into the battle so of course we have Jamie Lannister leading up the Lannister, fo uh, the Lannister forces he does look very very cool again all the 3d models of all the generals in this mod are absolutely amazing really really impressive stuff then we have some more Lannister cavalry. I believe there is also an update coming to make the Lannisters look a bit more like they do in the TV show, which will be cool. Then we have some Lannister javelin men, some Lannister archers, and again, these were one of the main, like one of the main units they've changed in a newer update, which I'm sure we'll be seeing pretty soon. Then we have some Lannister spearmen as we go further back. Some Lannister spearmen right here. And as we continue to go back, we have some more Lannister Heavy Infantry, I believe, back here. Yeah, some Lannister Heavy Infantry. And then finally, we have some Lannister Pikemen right here, ready to give their life. So I don't think they, they know what's coming quite yet. Then if we look back at the Dothraki army, we can see that we have Sebaristan, uh, who's currently, because you have to bring a general, and unfortunately, Sebaristan is the only dude I could bring. Um, so we have Sebaristan right here. Again, another amazing 3D model right there, looking absolutely spectacular. But he is with a unit of Unsullied. Unfortunately, there is no, like, mounted uh, Unsullied unit uh, to take as a general. Then for my Unsullied forces, I have, I think, over 5,000 of them. Yeah, five, I outnumber the Lannister forces by 1,000 troops. I have some Dothraki Kalisar. These guys are Lancers, so these are much more shot cavalry. Then as we go back, I have some of the Dothraki Blood Riders. These are the top tier Dothraki cavalry. Really, really deadly, really strong in melee combat when they do get stuck. And obviously their charge bonus is just as good. And I have an entire another line of them as well back there. Then finally, over on this far left flank, I have some of these Dothraki Kalasar bowmen. So again, some mounted archers who can uh, who can shoot and move at the same time. So here we go. The battle is being kicked off. The sound of the of the horses just moving forward round the ranks as these guys get closer and closer. The Lannister forces have suddenly heard it, and Jamie has given the order for these guys to form up. Do let me know in the comments as well what your favourite part of that bat kind of battle was. I thought it was really well done. Obviously not the best battle in Game of Thrones. I think people who were saying it was as good as the Battle of the Bastards were quite mistaken. However, it was still very, very good. Very, very good indeed. So the Lannisters are going to form up their spearmen. And obviously, as I said, this isn't supposed to be you know, a, a complete reenactment. I wanted the Lannisters to have a chance of actually winning this battle. So we spent the same money. And obviously, he, uh, the person I'm playing against has a load of spears and money to, uh, to do this. As the Lannisters form their shield wall, they get ready to withstand the Dothraki charges. You can just see it coming. Look at this. This is going to be brutal as they collide. Here we go. Oh, smashing into the ranks. Already breaking, completely breaking apart the Lannister initial formation right there. The Javelins are going to continue to come in and uh, actually start harassing my own soldiers. I'm also going to go and just turn up the game sounds just a little bit because it's a little bit quiet for me. So I wanted to make sure we just have this up a little bit more as the fight truly does just simply erupt. Luckily, the Lannisters can use their javelins overhead and just hammer my units as they try and attack. I'm also charged under the pikemen. You can see this was not so good. The pikemen are held firm on this far right flank. 
Uh, you can also see that my men are now engaged with the Lannister Knights in combat. I'm sure my Blood Riders will be more than capable as we have some more surfing soldiers. That's how good the Dothraki are. They can actually ride the horses. My second wave is now ready to come in and help reinforce my battle line. You know, just aiding to more and more of my horses. So the next line of my Dothraki are going to be filling in the gaps where previous ones have failed. Hitting onto the back line as well. We'll go slow-mo because we don't want to miss any of the action. This battle is somewhat short. Um, they have actually also said that they're going to make these battles much longer in the next edition of uh, Seven Kingdoms, which will be cool to see. I personally always love the longer battles. So, you know, the longer they are, the better it is for me personally. So I'm looking forward to seeing longer battles because, again, this was only, what, like a 10-minute battle. Granted, there wasn't much strategy to it at all. It was just charge at each other. But, you know, this still has 10,000 soldiers or close to 10,000 soldiers in. So I wouldn't mind seeing longer engagements because of that. I've managed to get some of my cavalry round the side. The Dothraki Blood Riders are going to be charging directly into the back of these archers. And they are just going to get sent flying. It is chaos in this engagement right now. Look at the Blood Riders. They literally just tear through this Lannister formation. Sending so many of them just to the ground. That is so brutal. However, the front line is holding after that initial charge. The Lannisters are doing fine at just holding this engagement line. Obviously, you know, spears are really, really strong. Um, and there's a lot more of them. Say, in the TV show, there wouldn't... Uh, in the TV battle, which we saw in the previous episode, there was nowhere near this many Lannisters. So, and there was probably a lot more Dothraki as well. You know, there were, what, it's like 4,000 Lannister soldiers. There were, like, you know, maybe like five, 600 Lannister soldiers in the TV show battle and a couple thousand Dothraki. So, if, they, if we were playing, like, properly like that... Then the Dothraki would have just run over. But obviously we are trying to make a bit more of a, a bit more of a competitive battle almost. As, oh my god, look at these guys. They're just getting hammered by the javelins. One of them Dothraki horsemen literally just took a javelin to the head and then just collapsed. The archers are trying their best as well. And Jamie Lannister has been slain. We also have some fire arrows coming over to my Dothraki over here. If we just get on board with some of the soldiers right here fighting. We actually have some Lannisters engaging into my Dothraki or are they running as that soldier does go down yeah this battle is extremely brutal right now I believe the left flank has actually almost been lost I'm trying to now kind of be a player a bit more strategically you can see I've surrounded these Lannister pikemen they're going to be getting cut to pieces by my blood riders don't stand a chance but I mean look how many horses I lost here I've already lost a good couple hundred we also have my lancers as well but these, uh, these melee soldiers are actually doing pretty decently against these guys. Actually, yeah, I'm definitely losing a lot of these Dothraki. As well as that, we have some of the heavy Lannister Knights still holding my Dothraki in place. But again, I'm just using my numbers to make my way round the battle itself. And just trying to get these guys round the flanks as quickly as I can. And then use these guys to come in and silence the missiles. Because the Lannister player is pushing up his pikemen now, which is going to be really deadly. If these guys can get involved and start attacking me, that's going to be brutal. I have now trained all of my horse archers to start focusing down this unit of pikemen as quickly as I can. Because I definitely know that's going to be dangerous as well as getting a great charge in this side a few of my own arrows killing my own horsemen but i think it's worth it for the damage if we go back to the front line and go back to normal speed we can again just see the battle really erupting so barristan has now arrived to the battle with his unsullied and he is going to show even though he is old he is still an extremely mighty fighter and i'm going to need all the help i can get if i'm honest because as i said i'm running out of men just pure chaos in this battle right now and i would love it if if because the seven kingdoms have a battle system right now where they have like historical battles from the from game of thrones so it'd be great to see if we could actually get a, a battle which we saw last night um a, you know a battle we saw last night actually appearing in in the mod itself That'd be really cool. You know, obviously minus the dragons. I mean, if they ever did add dragons, that'd be so goddamn cool. That'd be amazing, but I just don't see how they would do it. It's been takes so much time for them to kind of create that and create the custom animations and all that. But you never know. Never say never. The good thing about Game of Thrones being on TV is that it helps to inspire, you know, these mod creators to make more stuff. So, you know, that and your comments. So at the moment, if we press K, we can see the battle. The left flank is kind of going my way, but it's going to be a pretty big stalemate. We've got Sir Barristan just coming in now and helping out. We have some of my horse archers being completely surrounded there. And then we have this right flank. 
This right flank, I was hoping this right flank would break long before it has. It's taking a lot, it's taking ages to kill it. The Lannis does actually have more men than me. However, I still have some pretty deadly shock cavalry. You can see exactly what I'm doing right there. I'm charging into the javelin, silencing these guys with my blood riders. And a lot of the soldiers the Lannisters have left aren't exactly very strong at all. No, Sebastian has been slain. Oh no, that is not good. Maybe it was on top of these pikes. I think the pikes are maybe a little bit too OP in this battle. Pikes have always been insanely good in, in Attila and Rome, which has always been kind of annoying. I guess it's just so hard to try and balance them out, but the Unsullied are still fighting on, even though Sebarrison has died. I finally managed to break this left flank besides this one unit of Guardsmen and Spears, who are still holding the line as best they can, sending down these Dothraki to the ground. But I do believe in the power of the Dothraki to continue on and break these guys. They have a lot of numbers still left remaining. The Dothraki are brave. So I'm going to be using my archers here. Again, no one... Oh, what a charge there. Hopefully that charge can now break the Lannister troops. That's exactly what it has done. That is awesome. I'm super, super happy with that. And now we just have to turn our focus on killing this. So even though we don't have many men left, we have archers. These horse archers can continue to shoot and run. Now, I'm not going to just go ahead and just run away and shoot them. Like, I'm going to be using my cavalry just to charge him. Because I think it would be kind of boring if we did just charge him. I do need to deal with this pikeman unit as quickly as I can. I'm going to try and get some charges off on it before they manage to put down their spears. Just look at the dead horses here. That is horrific for my Lannister soldiers. I'm using my fire arrows because I know I need to try my best to try and break these guys. Unfortunately, the Lannister Pikes just turned in time. And my Dothraki are getting slaughtered as they charge onto the Pikes. Holy crap, that is not good. However, I do kind of bait them out and get a charge in the back of them to try and kill them. I think something just to balance out Pikes is you just need to make Pikes extremely slow at turning and moving. I think that's the easiest way to balance them. Because if you don't do that, then they're just, you know, you saw how quickly these guys put down their pikes and how quickly they turned around. It should be a really big ordeal for them to do it. And I think that's kind of a good way to balance them out. So my Dothraki are just keeping my Lannister pikemen holding firm whilst my blood riders in the back just cut these guys down. I also have my own horse archers as well, harassing these archers. Um, trying to get in but there we go unfortunately my soldiers do wrapped and the Lannister forces are actually going to be victorious this day if we just spend one last time going down the battlefield looking at all the dead bodies as the battle ends because these guys I could have just run away and shot them to pieces but I thought that was pretty lame so I'm just not going to bother doing that obviously but yeah if we go down the battle line we can just see the amount of dead here this is really awesome so do give me ideas down below, guys, what battles you want to see in the future, whether it's a Lannister versus Tyrell battle, maybe we could do a siege battle, obviously we don't have High Garden as a custom map, maybe we could just get you know, quite like a, a large settlement and just call it High Garden, do let me know in the comments, you know, what you want to see next and uh, if you do enjoy these types of battles. So let's take a look at the kills really quickly, we can see that quite a few of my horses did a lot of damage, but it just wasn't enough, I think if I didn't charge onto them pikes, you know, just for the cinematic feel then i i think that maybe i could have easily have just used some extra units to win the day but oh well yeah this is all for fun not nothing too serious just trying to recreate the battle as it were the lannister forces jamie kit in one two three kills always impressive that he can he can count and then the, the cavalry doing really well and obviously the spearmen of a pikeman or oh, the pikeman make me feel sick a little hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to drop a like and a comment down below i'll see you guys next time and fish